right, hello and welcome to Business in Lales, session 35. The decision to change the tides. As, well, I should say, before we get into our story and continue on, let's go around and see how everyone's couple weeks were since we had last week off before getting into the recap. Uh, Trace, how was your week? couple weeks? Good, good. Did the... Did the uh, storm calm down at all, or it did? It still yes. Bad? Well, not not really, but I I got a new internet provider, so they guarantee internet within an hour of it going down. So I'm surprised you don't have like a home generator just to like keep the no, power on. The power's not a problem in this case. It was internet. Oh really? Okay. Oh, Usually sure. the internet will stay on even when the yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, Kadir, we talked on Tuesday, and, well, and last night as well, but, uh, how was your day? Uh, you know what? Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, I, I liked that there was a, a pause. You decided, after he, after, uh, Cigna gave the, the good good, you asked him a question that he could not logically answer with good. That was a, <laughs> a pro, I would call it a pro strat, even. I've been contemplating on how to do this for almost 35 sessions. <laughs> Finally, your plan has come to fruition. Cigna has made an answer of more than two well, words. I, I think people deserved it, right? I was late 30 minutes. They need to know why, right? So, yeah. yeah we got to give the people what they want. Exactly, yeah. They'll get more trades in the future. <laughs> <laughs> da, na, na, na. But with... Uh, I guess today being Friday Eve, you just looking forward to the week being over? Fuck yeah, God. Same. I have vacation, so I'm good. Nice. Uh, Rick, Rick, congrats, vacation. Dude. Not having a job. Vacation. That's the best kind, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it really, it depends. It, it, I mean, yeah, no, that I would, I would say that heavily depends. I don't know why I commented on that. Reckon. I'm sorry. <laughs> How was your couple weeks, bud? <laughs> it was good. Uh, this past weekend, I bought a car for the first time in like 12 years, so that was fun. And it's a it's a dad mobile, so I'm rocking it right now. Uh, how many back seats does it have? All of them. Six. That's a lot of back seats. <laughs> uh, damn, dude. I mean, I, you don't. I don't think you have enough kids to fill those back seats. You... <laughs> well, the back three fold down for lots of cargo space. <laughs> Christian was gonna say, "Well, I have some news for you." One droplet's on the way. <laughs> yeah, have, have you guys ever watched Scrubs? Yes. Yeah. When, My like, favorite uh, show of all time. But when when Turk gets the, the like the minivan and like he says he wants to put like a forty five on it and so on, a really cool <laughs> scene. And and right before that, where he got like the three mopeds, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. It was like scooters. <laughs> no, I'm, I I I I watched that show ad nauseum for like my entire college life. Oh, we're so much the same. I, I well, one of my favorite shows of all. I love the things. I haven't watched it in a long time. It's a good show. Craig. You know, a lot of people don't like the last. Se sorry, uh, a lot of people don't like the last season of Scrubs, and it did end kind of suddenly. But it was. I thought it was still. It was nowhere near as the original content, and which did end perfectly. But you know, honestly, if you like, they, they like the, the second to last season, the, the last normal season, whatever one is. The last episode is probably one of the best episodes of TV ever, in my opinion. The, the, the thing where he walks down the, the aisle and sees all the people that's been to the show over the years. That'd right, and, and like yeah. the same, and like the lights, the music, it was it was pretty perfect. And then they came up with another season that was still good, like at least as good as some of the early seasons, but it's like, well, this is completely out of place. We had our perfect ending. What is this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, sorry, Kyle. Uh, I, I feel very strongly about Scrubs. That's not why, apparently, so... It's better than fucking oh. house, I'll tell you that. And I'll fight anyone who says otherwise. And definitely better than Grey's Anatomy. Fuck that shit. I'm waiting for the Twitch ban. Little things about Scrubs is like, if you look at like, it's amazing how many like guest stars have been in it, like Ryan Reynolds and like, Gosh, huge stars yeah. is in it, yeah. Uh, Brendan Fraser. The Fraser yeah, exactly, episodes yeah. were fucking killer. Yeah, the one where he doesn't know he's dead. That's 
so that so was well made. fucking brutal is what that yeah, was. It was yeah it's good shit especially like that was one of the only things that brendan fraser was like allowed to be in because he had been he'd been blackballed so fucking hard by the industry but that was like one of the few things he was in in that time period was fucking yeah. scrubs he had, he had that really bad like i mean he was always like the goofy guy and like all those what did you call those movies you made like it's parody movies right yeah but like for him it was like uh it, it was i think it was actually like a me a me too thing where somebody had sexually harassed oh. him and nobody believed him <laughs> not to get super fucking heavy but like i it sounded to me like like somebody f fucked his life up in a really really not okay way can't wait for somebody to correct me on that but uh, that's i just remember it was something like that All right. Well, uh, I'm I'm logging out now. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I found the clip. I think uh, Kyle has forsaken us. Well, what the video posted there? That, that's you, uh, Regget. We're good. Krev, how was your couple weeks? Hey, we're doing this. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was in Vegas last week, so that was cool. Bachelor party, shenanigans and drinking and casinos and other things. Um, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Uh, other than that, you know, just usual work stuff. Uh, oh, and then next week I'm getting some teeth out, so that's not going to be fun. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> well, next week sounds like it's going to be a grand time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We like, won't be able to talk, and I'll only be able to eat like mashed potatoes, and that's it. And I can't use straws. Mashed potatoes are good, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, which of you want to take the lead on the recap? Why do you even ask? I mean... Because sometimes there's holes and then people fill them when the person takes the lead. Oh, we're not doing porn, we're doing D&D. &D. I was going to say, it sounds like Vegas again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. So, good idea. What did we do last session? We fucked up a room full of furniture. Oh yeah. That is true. That was at least CR one one hundredth furniture. It could be summed up as let there be snakes. <laughs> Fewer snakes now. I can keep going if y'all want. Go ahead. All right. Go so it. we fucked up that room. We set it on fire. Well, technically the man? snake set it on fire. What? This is where's your hype man? Right here. Um, so yeah, technically the snake set that room on fire. Uh, we believe a lot of them died except for the uh, fire-aligned snake that made its way through. We dealt with that one pretty quickly. Then we... Uh, dove into the water. Uh, was super spooky for those of us without dark vision. Then we found ourselves into another area with uh, teleportation pillars, is how I was imagining them. Uh, Wrecked was very uh, energetic about using these teleporters, although we did have quite a few run ins with snakes. Uh, we did disturbed them greatly <laughs> via set their nests on fire. Um, we found some supplies while doing this. We eventually found our way towards we think the end of this area. Um, but we spent a great deal of time trying to find a secret door, I believe. And we find ourselves face to face with a very large 
snake with the coloration of a coral snake, it would appear. What is it? Yellow by red, you'll be dead? Red by yellow kills a fellow. That's how I remember it. Or red touches yellow kills a fellow, yeah. I mean, they both technically work. Yeah. As long as it rhymes, it works. That's the important part, right? Yep. That's the only way we remember things, I guess. Red touches black is a friend of Jack, or touches yellow <laughs> kills a fellow, yeah. Am I missing anything? Apparently, if you're a... not named Jack, you're still screwed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> only Jack has uh, resistance. Um, I would I would imagine you need immunity. <laughs> That much poison damage coming in. Well, at I least think... you have resistance, right? Yeah. So I think that was everything. Um, did we end up using all the teleporters, y'all? That we found, at least? I believe no, so. There's one left. Okay. Is it this one? And actually, no, it's the one under it. Oh, okay. Uh, and actually, now that I look at it, there's another teleporter in this room, so. Oh, uh, which I, that, which I'm uh, yeah. presuming is going to teleport us right uh, right behind it, like like this one did. Well, but... Also, we sense magic from two bots, and we opened one of them. So there's and... another hidden door. Like I think it was here or here. I can't down remember. to the south. Okay. Well, on the they south might... side. Yeah. It might lead to the same room. We don't really know yet. But well, we'll have to check out the other room. The... And come back. Yeah. We know that. Pass wall or whatever the spell is, it makes the it makes the the wall extremely strong. I remember we made an Arcana check for that, but or it makes the door extremely strong, but it doesn't say anything about the wall. So we don't attack. The, so if we need to get through, uh, we don't use dispel magic. We don't attack the door. We attack the wall next to it, and then maybe try to burrow through that way. But that's a that's a possible future problem. Hmm. Can't remember. Did you give me the uh, yes. potion? Mm -hmm. You guys did find a couple of potions. The one that gives you back a spell slot or two. I don't think you drank it yet. I haven't Maybe. drank it because I haven't marked the you know spells back. But remember, does it give you one or two spells back? I don't think we officially know until you drink it, so oh. unless we do, I don't know. I thought we did, but with uh, uh, you guys had found out that at the current level, after I think it was an identify or an arcana check, something of the sort, um, at your current level, it will restore any two spell slots of your choice. Right. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. we were we were initially thinking that. That I can stays the same way all the yeah. way up. Yeah. I Basically. wonder. I wonder if you can get a lesser effect out of it uh, by just drinking like half or something. Well, you can't really do the healing potion, right? So I assume it's the same here. Well, if uh, maybe if you can do it with a greater healing, I mean, maybe you can potentially do it with a greater healing potion. I don't know. Well, does does anyone have alchemy? I guess we could do it then. I oh, do not. I do not have it yet. Now get a good healing potion. Just break it down to a bunch of smaller ones. I've never thought of that. I wonder if that is actually a thing. <laughs> or reverse engineer it and figure out how it's made so you can repeat it. Well, I mean that yeah, makes but... a little bit of sense, but yeah, but it takes rare, rare ingredients, right? You can't really like just get those. Well, right, but if you can figure out what they are, then you can look for them rather than yeah, yeah. having no idea and bypass. You know, just. But because if, if I remember correctly. Rare. Like a like a normal healing potion is actually fairly expensive to make. That's fifty gold usually, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then like, uh, yeah, yeah not so greater. <laughs> yeah. And then from there, it's almost exponential. How? But I think that's because of the down. resources it takes to get it. But if you were like were to like hunt for those resources, you know, and that's true. That's and true. like looking for the herbs, to, you know, in the wild, you know. The. Do we have anything never... else to add to the recap? Before we get way too off track again. <laughs> I think that's too late. Roll initiative. I'll take the silence <laughs> as a no. Alright. Yeah. Stick time. 
So we continue our story on May 17th, year 1101, the time being unknown without seeing the sun for almost a full day. After passing through most of the rooms on the fourth level of the ziggurat, each of you have come across a couple of hidden doors. Deciding to have Krev open the one to the east instead of the south, the stone slides, uh, revealing a greenish glow. You see it coming from some type of forge where you can hear some mechanics, some what almost sounds as if metal clinking on metal coming from within. A black, yellow, red snake glimmers in, in the greenish glow as it flicks its tongue and begins slithering towards each of you. You can see that there's a green engraving along the floor. It perks its head up, the eyes, the greenish flash, as it bares its fangs just a bit. You hear, Leave, and I will gift you knowledge. Is this in common? It is. Ooh. Seems to be coming from the giant snake as it moves well, towards you. I would like to make an inside check. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a yes? Sure. Show me potato salad. There you go. Each of you feel that this snake, while very hard to tell if there's any emotion, the words it speaks are true. Do I get a feeling if this is a sentient being? No. Is it entirely contained in the circle? No, it uh, is moved, uh, moving its about a quarter of its body out, moving towards you, good ear, just a bit. Uh, I am taking the dodge action. I look towards Kadia and then uh, wreck it and then. Uh... Ref. I don't know anything about this. What do we do? What kind of knowledge will you give to us? An answer you seek. Desperately. But, but how do you know we seek it? How do we know this is something useful. So I know why you're really here. To stop the war on Lails. At this point, the snake begins to rest and coils back up over the engravings. Oh no. The uh, eyes no longer green. Can I? I look giddy for a moment, say, like in a low voice. I think it's worth trying to take this offer. We need answers, right? Uh, question. The, uh... The engravings, the runes, can I read any of them or get an idea of what they potentially... the potential and magical effect of them would be? Uh, you can give me an arcana check, but this will be at disadvantage, not being able to see very many details. Or 
14. Unfortunately, you're unsure. If it wasn't being covered up, you'd feel that this would be significantly easier. Doesn't uh, Griff have ma detect magic running still? Uh, actually, I should. Oh, you do. Sorry. Uh, I believe uh, it was Adjuration that you had sensed. You still sense yep. it. Uh, so, this is a different Abjuration. Correct. Uh, because the original Abjuration was the door. This... Right, the protection of the wall or door is the original. Correct. It's a different... How would we take this offer? Can you still respond? Uh, you do not get a response. I I turn. Uh, I think when his eyes were glowing, he was able to talk to us. He was possessed. And now he has been dispossessed. Maybe it has to stay on that circle to talk to us? I mean, Un I am unsure. But it is a snake. Uh, I take the dodge action and, and step into the room so I can see around this corner. I, I was going to say, has have we seen a change in its like expression other than that the eyes stopped glowing? Has it turned more uh, animalistic or anything? Or less... Uh, just its mannerism, has it changed at all? Nope. Uh, quick, quick question, right? I, I, I'm provisioning nature. Would I know if a snake like that would be capable of common speech? Like, would uh, it have the vocal cord for it? With your expertise, you're quite certain it would not. Oh. Kadir, as you look around the corner, the snake following you intently doesn't seem to move. But around the corner, you see another stone and a couple more uh, haystacks as well. Uh, do I sense that there are other snakes uh, potentially in them? Go ahead and give me a perception check. Or if you wish to get closer, you can give me an investigation. I, I do not know. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. No, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i not going to start you know, put, dipping my foot in there. I'd say telepathically, I think you might upset the big snake if you uh, mess with the files. Uh, it doesn't seem that there's anything within the haystacks. Uh, all right, I'm taking the I'm taking the dodge action. Uh, watching this snake watch me intently. That's it. Well, as you stare at it, it just flicks its tongue. Flickering a few times, still resting over the green engravings. Can you no longer answer us? No if response. You are not, I think we were on a time limit. We were given only a couple seconds to ask our question. Or it was only given a couple... It's... Well, it was likely making an attempt to bargain with us, to get us to, just to get us away from uh, the king, which is nearby, I presume, knows that we are here now, if he Could did not. Could have just been doing a sniff test to see if we'd be even interested in taking the deal, too. Well, but if I was talking, then maybe it would know that we were considering it. But from what we've learned about these uh, yuan -Ti, They've always been aggressive, right? This is the first one that's not. It's, it's not a 1T. Well, a snake, but all the snakes from mid down here have been aggressive, right? This is not. Yes. I suppose, except for the ones we captured, they were considered somewhat more amicable. Still taking dodge action. 
All right, well, we need uh, decisions, please. Well, I think we should try to take the deal, but if we can't talk to anyone, it's kind of hard, right? Surely they expect us to leave first before giving us the information. Yes. But leave how? Snake. Well... Can we take the deal? You may have to leave the room first. And just remember, you know, last time we checked, the portal at the, the top of these levels was activated last. Indeed. Yep. So, uh, he wants us to actually leave the temple before he communicates with us. I assume telepathically. Uh, that is not something I am, o I am willing to be okay with. And, uh... I mean, no one else is acting, so Eldritch Blast. Oh boy. Alright. Go ahead and shoot off the Eldritch Blast, and then uh, everyone begin to roll me initiative. The wonders. Oh yeah! Uh, 28 and 16. Uh, yeah, and initiative. Hit. Dang it. I'm sorry, I didn't have my token selected. Alright. Well, that, <laughs> well, that works, right? That was convenient. Um, So the 28 and 16 are a hit. Um, I don't believe you had uh, your cur or your hex on it, right? I did not. So that is 27 points of damage. Oh, he's going to die now. Yeah, once other people start taking actual chunks out, chunks out of it. When Trey starts uh, launching his artillery. Okay, so at the top of the turn order for round one after Kadir um, makes his decision and blasts this snake with an Eldritch Blast, we begin round one with Trace. I'm going to like go over here, line up, and I'm going to shoot between the Kadir's legs and hit the snake. And I'm going to use a sharpshooter. You have been practicing some good ricochet shots with the swarm of uh, snakes that you had taken out. I hope you got a tiny peepee -pee there, Kadir. One might say it is a penny skinness. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you know that hits, right? Uh, that was for you, Wrecked. You almost <laughs> killed Wrecked. Uh, oh. Being out of the glow, you uh, do have advantage, so a 16, that's a hit. 28 points of damage. And I'm going to shoot again. Got it. 16. Another hit. That's 23 points of damage. And a third attack. Okay, 16, <laughs> everything did. Jeez, dude, you've been rolling not <laughs> very high. Nope. You don't have a very uh, big variety for your hits, but all of them are hits. How many 19s was that? There was three 19s and two 13s and a 17. Uh, 25 and then 33? Yep. What was the average of those dice rolls? 16? He rolled three 16s. So no, as won't. it takes the last arrow, it will, in a last breath, say, Choice has been made. As the eyes flicker quickly green, and then the snake falls, the tongue hanging out of its mouth. Is that the oh. end of initiative? All right. 
Well, that was pretty sudden stop. I will go to drag the snake corpse off of the circle. Uh, I will Eldritch Blast one of the uh, each of the haystacks. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me an athletics check to move the snake. No problem. Where are you putting it? Um, let's see. I'll move it. I'll just Perhaps. put it on top of this. Perhaps you want a boa? So, so the question is, do we get possessed if we stand in those rooms? Say that again, Trace. Do we get possessed if we stand in that room? Ghost question. St stand in there and find out. <laughs> and Reggie did it. Reggie, uh, I mean, other than just having this, uh, having this a uh, greenish glow about you, uh, there's nothing else. But oh. to note, as each of you step in, the sounds of water seem to cease. Air seems to be slightly moving through the area. Uh, now that I can see the runes, can I interpret them? Yes. It seems uh, this runic uh, inscription uh, appears to be snakes coiled not around but through one another, creating a link. Go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Uh, are we talking like Ouroboros? I have no idea. What, I'm not. I'm not getting the reference. I'd have, to, I'd have to Google that. It's it's a snake eating itself. It's a, it's uh, a symbol of like forever, right? Yes. Then it's like an old ritualistic. Uh, probably religious symbol from ancient times. Yes, now that uh, I just didn't know the name, but what you guys are talking about, uh, yes. It uh, was made popular in Full Metal Alchemist. Mm. I Actually. figured, figured it might be from an anime. <laughs> um, well, I mean, not originating, but, you know, some of the knowledge points. But anyways, um, you are fairly certain that this is giving not just one, but numerous hidden uh, doors their uh, well, their uh, power to seal. Hmm. Uh, we may want to destroy this. It uh, seems to be powering uh, it seems to be powering magical doors. Actually, mm -hmm. it could perhaps even reveal other doors if we were to destroy it. What if it powers the only door we know of that can take us from this place so far? Well, who knows? It could be powering all of the teleportation stones, too. Yes, that is possible, I suppose. Uh, I will step around it. Uh, let's have a look at the foundry. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Wow, that was a delayed ass roll. While you still hear uh, sounds of gears grinding on one another, similar to what you had experienced back when, well, when crossing the desert going to Mito, we'll say. So I think. Never mind. You're getting a little off yeah. track. But anyway. The Iron Cobra? Yes. Uh, I, I couldn't remember the, the names of them, but uh, something uh, similar to that sound. While it's not exact, it definitely sound uh, gives uh, similar sounds. Taking a look over, you're not sure of where that sound is coming from. However, the logs and the fire itself seems to be green. Wow. 
what is it can is there an obvious purpose to this mechanism? What does it physically look like? Uh, you can't see it. I'm just giving oh, you so a similarity to the sounds, but the thing that you do see is that the log and the fire are green. It's like a uh, Harry Potter fire where they can talk through the fire. Is is there like a, an opening or like a, a hatch that can be interfaced on this? Uh, up, up on the top? Yeah. Um, I wanted to make sure you matched the DC, which I was pretty sure it was an 18. Um, up on the top, there seems to be a either a feeding area or some type of entry point. As uh, as Gadia is doing this, I'm going to pull out my deck and I'm going to cut part of the snake up. Only the red part of the scale, so. Okay. Give me a leather working check. Th that a survival check? I don't have leather working. Mm, I'll allow survival. Uh, Kadir, do you take a look inside? Uh, if I can see it, then yes. Uh, as you give it a tug, you find it to be locked. But you can see, uh, as like you pull it up, where there almost seems to be like a safety latch. Like a little push in and uh, let it unlatch from its, uh, from its grasp. Trace, you can go ahead and add a uh, red... Uh, coral snake scales to your inventory. Depending on how long you want to go about it, I'll give you a, a more specific weight. Well, as long as Kitty is Got it. going over there. Yeah. I don't want to waste time, I just want to. But as you uh, push it in, Kadir, uh, being easy enough to unlock, as you look in, you see what appears to be a very primitive, uh, primitively made mechanic uh, system. A couple of gears uh, propelling one another, and as it does, it is emptying a little bowl of what appears to be uh, dust. As it sparkles, you uh, recognize this to be diamond dust. Wow, uh, that's helpful. <laughs> it is. Uh, so they're. If this is. Oh, interesting. Uh, so maybe they're burning things to. Maybe they're burning things to create diamond dust, or maybe they're just making it or grinding diamonds. I guess it could be either. I don't know. If it. Maybe if there's. It, it seems like an engine. There could be more diamonds nearby. Uh, they're continually filling it up. Hey, uh, Trace, uh, there's a latch on the top of this. Perhaps you'd like to try your hand at, uh, at loosening it? Yeah. I'll crawl up and try to loosen the lever, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to check. It's easily done. Um,. You guys, uh, are you familiar with those, like, cabinet latches, uh, that make, like, your cabinet so, like, babies can't get in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh. Okay. I'll like to admit then. Like, that's kind of what, uh, resist it from being fully open, but it's easy enough to open. Nice. Uh, what do we see inside? Uh, the gears, oh, like a couple of gears kind of rotating. Um, it seems to be catching the heat with a few uh, cups. And as it rotates, it propels the gears in a uh, clockwise rotation, which then makes the uh, bowl kind of shake just a bit as the diamond dust falls into the fire. So the diamond dust is actually burning and becoming the fire? Correct.
Do I have an understanding of feel why they would burn be burning diamond dust this way? Uh, from your prior knowledge, it may be infused with magic to help amplify uh, other materials, just as you have done with the pitten. Do I feel like there's a chance this is like the material they're using to create portals? Perhaps. It's a, it's a good assumption. I've got some of that rock with me. Is there the... Can you access the burned diamonds in there? To see if it kind of looks like the same material? Yeah, that would be, uh, that would be good. I mean, the portals do also burn, or burn green, or with green light. So green light, green fire, magical... Magical diamond dust and runes. It seems like it's... Oh. So... Maybe they're trying to use this so they can create a portal big enough to bring the king? Because they hinted that he might have been trapped in, like, another dimension or something. That's not a bad code. I, I would go up forward, too, and check out the diamond dust and kind of compare it to the magical rocks I got from the previous portal. See if they're... Uh similar in composition. That, that um, kind of makes sense in a weird way. Like, we, we in the start, we only saw small snakes and so on and so on, then we saw larger and larger ones, right? Right. And, like, the more powerful ones showed up uh, showed up later on, which would have been more difficult to get. Yeah, exactly. How are you going about uh, comparing these, Krev? Um, I would assume with my uh, masonry tool proficiency that I could, you know... Just kind of look at the two and see if it kind of looks like crushed stone of the stone that I have. That's been like burned, you know? Go ahead and give me a masonry tech, uh, check at advantage, please. Alright. Uh, which skill? Uh, let's go with intelligence. Alright, that's what I had it on last time. It's okay. 17? Um, it seems fairly similar. Mm. You're not 100% sure, but it's well, the, pretty the, good, the, pretty yeah, good uh, I mean, resemblance. The green flames are kind of the uh, variable here that we don't really understand. But... I feel like... Um, uh, I feel like uh, Kyle had to go on mute there for a second. It's like, damn it, how did Michael get my notes? <laughs> uh, no, if you guys can figure it out, like, not saying that you have the right answer, but overall, like, if you can figure it out, then that just means I told a good story, right? Yeah. No, that's fair. Um, so, yeah, uh, the... Not confirming nor dust, denying, yeah. but, you know. This dust here... <laughs> I would just say, yeah, this dust here appears to be similar composition to the rocks. At any rate, it could be useful. Perhaps we should, uh, perhaps we should collect it and keep it. Especially the, well, also the diamond dust, because why not? Hey, uh, Rekid, there's a rock over there. Don't you want to touch it? Oh, you have no idea. Which one were you, was, were you pointing at again? Yes. And way to get his rocks off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only one at a time. We do not get both rocks off at the same time. <laughs> I do wonder what would happen if uh, we touched two of these at the same time. There were a few that were close enough to do that. I uh, actually do not want to imagine what that would be. <laughs> I'd send half of you one place and half of you somewhere else. Did yeah, touch possibly. It, yeah. I do shortly after. Same. As each of you appear in a room with just a uh, singular stone and a chest, this chest is open and full of 
diamonds and diamond dust. Ooh, Ooh baby. Well, Trace doesn't care about it, but Signet, a person, likes it. Can I poke it with my spear? Sure. <laughs> Mimic test. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very small room. <laughs> Any, uh, anything peculiar? Uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. All is right. it, uh, and is it just don't roll breathing? below uh, an eight, I think, and you should be fine. I think he has like a plus ten. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Nope, that is one. a net one. That is a net one. I you, don't know why it's not red. Uh, strike right into the lid. Not, uh, and as uh, you do, you catch one of the st uh, steel uh, trimmings, and it ricochets off, and your uh, spear gets stuck in the wall. Damn it. Uh, uh, bonus action kick. <laughs> it. It's like super frustrated. Like, God damn it. And they're just kicking Well, the spear foot. stays stuck in the wall. You kick the chest and it just rattles around a little bit before settling. All right. I'll Good. pull pull my spear out of the wall then. Uh, do you all want me to send this chest to the dream? Is there anything in it that's not tr like treasury, like maybe potions or something that could be used? Okay. That's it. Yeah, I think Anything so. Anything yeah. magical with his detect magic if it's still up? No magic is detected. Uh, Kadir, can you give me an intelligence check at advantage? My saves and checks are the same. Got it. Uh, from the a quick look over and some calculations, running over how much it, how much a diamond it has taken to make the, some of these pittons in, in the past, this seems that it might be enough to um, give nearly an entire army some formidable armor or weapons. Well, that is uh, not scary at all. Uh, I would like to se I would like to send this to the dream if nobody has any predilections. Not a bad oh. idea, but I think we should have some diamonds in case one of you needs to be revived. Uh, that is a great suggestion. I felt prepared this time. I mean, perhaps even just to have cash <laughs> on hand. Maybe everyone should grab a couple. Yes. And then whatever is left, I will send. It's always Trace doesn't really care. Uh, so I grab. I don't know. Uh, I, I I'm having. You said enough for a small army, so that means it's got to be a lot. I'll, I'll grab five hundred gold of diamonds and then hand it to every person. Five hundred each, or yep. okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Question. Uh, that'll leave um, about a dozen diamonds left in the chest along with the dust. Uh, and then I will send the chest from there. Um, I would ask the group, should I take the uh, potion to get my spell slots back? I've used two of the three level third level three spells. And, well... If we get into a fight, I won't have to be drinking this potion then. Unless you think we'll be resting. I do not believe we will. Uh, I'm putting down chest of 12 diamonds plus dust. Uh, in the group loot. Uh, hashtag in the dream. If everybody thinks that is a smart idea, I would drink the potion. I think it is. Ah. Rather than doing it in battle. 
Perhaps try drinking half of it and see if you get any effect. Sure. Suggestion. I'll drink, I'll drink half. What, what if it fucked it up and doesn't work? <laughs> then drink I mean, the if rest. If nothing happens, then you drink the rest of the potion. I mean... Yeah, but what if you have to drink it all at once for it to work? If... I don't think I've ever heard of that happening, but... Do you drink half, Krev? And there's no point if it, if we know it does two spells for the whole potion. I'm just gonna drink the whole thing. Yeah. Okay, you drink the whole thing. Yeah. All right. Um, remove it from the inventory, of course, and then go ahead and add two spell slots back. All right, I get two level threes back. That can bring three people back from the dead. Okay. <laughs> if we have diamonds. Are uh, you and back on the teleporter? Mm-hmm. All right, I go back there too. All right, kid. Hmm. Come here and touch my stone. Touch. 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 I'm just waiting for one of these to just say, like, oh, by the way, boss battle. Oh, shit. It took... Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Took the stone yeah. with us, I think, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. Wait. Oh, uh, we could have just... <laughs> the entire time? <laughs> Wait, so the center stone we had not touched took us to that room? That's funny. Okay, so the only thing left is the other invisible door. Yeah. The one that was like right the here. Other, the yeah, one, one, yeah. Oh, so it just went into this. It was but just yeah, a... it's... Okay. So now we officially of have touched every stone. Um, Did we uh, run through all these rooms, checking them for, like, other hidden walls? Like that? With detect magic? Some of it. I think we did that over here. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh... Well, if we have, and we should go just through all the rooms here, right. just to make it see if anything's matter. All right, like hidden wall. So, and I, after being told that this was meta earlier, I almost don't want to say it, but then don't. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I was told by that it was meta, by, but I still don't believe it was. So I, I feel like I should message you. If you're referencing the squares, um, yes and no. This one is actually designed to be different. You know, I was thinking if my character would have like the spatial awareness to realize that there's like this whole area in the center, but I don't think he would. That's exactly what I was going to ask, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> safe assumptions. Yeah, because right. the teleporters have to be really uh, confusing, right? I would think so. Although, at the because, same time, like, we I, also... I mean, well, if I was doing, like, uh, dynamic lighting... Every time I put you in a different room, you wouldn't be able to see like the rest of the map, for like an example. So, like right. revealing it's a little bit easier to see. But. Well, well, also like you know we we wouldn't actually know that you know this room is next to this room, right? Or that this room was next to this one. Yeah, exactly. That, because that is you, true. it would just be like kind of close off. Everything else would be dark, so you wouldn't yeah. know what's next to what. But we also do know that this is one giant contiguous area. Yeah, but as far as we know, it could be filled in with this. We, we don't really know. That's true. Because we don't know where... It, at any rate, I think it's still a smart uh, decision maybe to have uh, detect magic. Uh, walk around and see if we can find any more doors and then after that we destroy this and then we do it and then we walk back to an area with a previous door and then try to walk in
what do y'all think of that? Yeah, I mean, it's just the you know walk through the the, are, the areas we're aware of to see if we can ping anything with detect magic, basically. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so okay. let's uh, detect magic. Uh, uh, ritual cast detect magic. So how about this? Um, you let me know where you're going, and I'll let you know where you get a ping or not. Okay. And then that way you don't have to just keep uh, guessing because we did have last week off, so I don't know if everyone remembers which stones went where, but I'm pretty sure everyone has a decent idea. Would you mind if I drew on the map, Kyle, to kind of keep track of that? Uh, no, not at all. Cool. I'll just, just uh, brush my broken pieces of my heart. <laughs> underneath the table. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, so... Let's go ahead and start with this room with the snake. Uh, no other magic, uh, besides the, uh, from, like, the greenish, uh, glow? Uh, being adjuration, and then the door that you know to be there as well. Okay, and then walking through this area uh, down to down to this area. Everywhere I'm going to ping for you will be a door, okay? Okay. So in those five locations... All right, and then hit the teleporter here. I'm sorry, not the teleporter there, the teleporter there to go into this room and check. Those two. Okay, and then checking out this area. Lots of pings were like a continual one. Uh, so I feel like this is a large door. Correct. Okay. And then finally, uh, well, I guess this area right over here, and then back through, and then back through the kitchen, and then the the main room again. Uh, nothing, nothing new with those other other markings. All right. Uh, in that case, I advise the uh, I advise the group that we have pinged at least seven doors, uh, and I think we're safe to destroy the we're safe to destroy the the rooms. Yeah, I agree. Makes sense. So if we do start opening these doors, then we'll have a better kind of grasp of the the spatial, you know, where the rooms are relative to each other. I agree. Uh, Karev, I think I will need your help. Uh, did you check the starting room? I, I, I said I did, but uh, I, if if uh, I didn't, then let me know, Kyle. Uh, the starting room will would just be that door. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, I guess technically you didn't, but nothing, no, no new information. Okay. Um, the, cause I did, I did, I, I said it, I said I wanted to come back through here, through the kitchen, but I did, I never actually X'd the room. Uh, yeah, I was just going from your markings, following along, is, there was going to be a lot of pings, but, uh, nonetheless. Got it. Questions answered, right? Unless there's more, uh, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, Krev, uh, let we should use our uh, smithing tools to sunder the uh, to sunder the runes. Bring yeah. up the floor plates, so to speak. Sure, and uh, if needed, my masonry tools might assist in that a little better. Of course, I was hoping you would lead this. All right, sure. I think if if they start doing that, Trace is going to go and collect a few more uh, red scale from the snake. 
So you're going to go through and pick up all the stones that you can? Uh, no, I, I guess what I'm referring to is breaking the, uh, breaking the runes that the floor plate is situated on so that it can be disrupted and scattered. Every single one. Uh, I mean, we'll start with one and then if it stops glowing, then maybe we'll continue. I don't know. Okay. Uh, then which one do you start with? Uh, your preference? I mean, yours is as good as mine. Uh, Wait, where is the exact spot you're looking at? I don't know why I didn't just ping. <laughs> because okay. drawing shapes is fun. So you want to disrupt that? Yes. Um. All right. So I guess we gotta get back over there. Um. Might be a good idea to just keep the group together just to be safe. <laughs> um. I guess I'll start here. Okay, go ahead and give me a um, mason stools check, and with either dexterity or strength, your choice. That would be dexterity, sir. One second. Modifying the attribute. Uh, straight roll? Uh, yes, just straight roll. Oh, my crap. So as you begin to chisel through, disrupting some of the carvings, you can see the light beginning to flicker ever so slightly. The greenish glow seems to be slowly dissipating. Do you continue? Any uh, noticeable difference could hear in the magic? Uh, going over to check if the store's still here, or if it's still it giving off magic. Uh, it is. Keep going. Alright. How long would you like to work at it there, Krev? I mean, so with that first try there, did I, like, get up one tile, or how much did I get up, like? Uh, roughly one tile, yes. Do another tile, see what happens. Okay, go for it. Oh my god, I'm rolling like garbage. Uh, Good thing I have bonuses. Go ahead, Kadir. I feel like you're uh, gonna say something. Uh, I was going to say I could try to soften up like the, the, the grout or the area in between the tiles to give him a better area to reach in with my smithing tools. This smithing tools do have a sunder application that it's used for locks so maybe not applicable to rocks I don't know that's okay. uh, another tile is removed the light flickers uh, more the flame inside the forge seems to be dissipating hmm. if you wish to continue I'll need one more check Any objections? Nope. Keep going. Go ahead. And as you remove a third tile and a fourth one cracking, the rest of the engravings seem to begin to crumble. The light uh, diminishes quickly. And as it does, each of you begin to hear the sounds of stone grinding upon stone. The door to your north, Kadir, is uh, no longer sealed. You see it to be open. And Krev, or uh, Reckid and Trace, 
To your northeast, where you had used the stone to find the diamond dust, a door there seems to be op uh, is open as well. All right. Well, are y'all ready to fuck up some snakes? Sure. Well, in that case, let's go see. Uh, let's go see what else opened up. Uh, walking in particular over to this door on the southern end. So as uh, you each wrap around, uh, going through this way, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Before we go, oh shit! <laughs> you begin to see a greenish fog coming your way. As it does, you can see it slowly dissipating. Seems to be um, dying just before reaching you. And as it does, it grows thinner, thinner, and then eventually disappears. Dodge action? <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Spooky. Was that, did that look like poison? And perhaps a room has opened, which maybe has not been for a long time. Did it have a smell to it? Go ahead and give me a perception check. You roll too high, you throw up. <laughs> Double rolls, dude. Why does that keep happening? The, uh, as each of you take in a bit of a breath, you smell death and decay. quite familiar with the smell due to the amount of death that each of you have been around during this war. Alright. Um, ready, uh, taking the dodge action, ready for battle, stumble down this hallway uh, so I can see this door. It is open. Come on, fellas. Right. Let's make it happen. Oh. Are we assuming that we're going to attack something big now? Oh, I would presume very much so. Um, I, I was going to say, make sure you're not injured before we head down there. I'm also yeah. thinking, like, I know we have do we have one of the potions left to restore spell slots? Oh. I think there was only the one, right? I think oh, there was only, only the one. But there are at least two others that I'm aware of, and I think a few other healing potions as well. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have guess three on me. I guess I should say, technically, I guess a lot of healing potions. I only have one healing potion on me. I uh, I would like to keep it that way. Uh, do you have any extras, Racket? I have three total currently. Uh, how, uh, how hurt are you? I am at 47 of 53. Ah, what an interesting scale to rate your health on. <laughs> so I, I guess I should... Yeah, I guess I should down one of these. That's what I was thinking. I should down the one. I only have one, but I, rather than using a spell, I think I was going to take the potion. Uh, Rekid, could I have one of yours? Of course. All right. It is Which a... ones are you guys using? Because I think you have a bit of variety. Oh, I didn't write down. Actually, I'm just going to cast your wounds on myself. That way, if somebody needs to bring me up, they can use the potion on my body. It's actually... No. Uh... Uh, just, just so we don't move on too much, this is actually very important. Uh-oh. Uh, because I believe some were labeled, uh, Potion of Healing question mark. According to the review. So, if you're not drinking one of those, that's all I really need to know. I don't know, unfortunately. I don't. I'm gonna look in the. I feel like you might have notes on that. I feel like that's the kind of thing you would keep notes for, Kyle. Well, I know who has them. And they are you, Kadir. Alright. So, if each of you are, like, breaking up potions and stuff, I just want to know which ones are being drank. So. I'm the one who has healing potion question mark. Yes, times two. 
All right. I only have one potion in my inventory, so that's news to me. Uh, well, that was according to the review. You hadn't given them to anybody, so that's what's in my notes. You probably gave it to... Uh, hey, there was I, there was nothing said. Uh, the other potions of healing Wreckit had received were from previous finds at that point. All right. Uh, if I have two potions in my inventory, I'm only showing one. Uh, I was asking him for I was asking him for one of his because he had multiple. So yes, I'll, exactly. I'll change my potion to healing potion question mark, uh, and I'm still asking for his. Got it. That's that's why I wanted to make sure, like which ones of the inventory we're going through. Uh, so, wreck it, yours is fine. You can heal eight points. Uh, Krav, you're just gonna heal yourself. Uh, I get five HP. <laughs> My staff doesn't have any charges at the moment, by the way. All right. It has one charge, actually. Does it? You haven't I used it. I thought I Otherwise. used it after... I took I took a big hit from this from the snake pile. Uh... I didn't have that written down, but okay. All right. I I would say you still had one left. I mean, I'll take it if you want. <laughs> yeah, I mean, from my notes, that's what you got. All right. Uh, well, I am. Uh, I'm still. I uh, I I'm somewhat. I'm nearly bloodied. I suppose we will say. Uh, but I'm ready to go if you all are. All right. Uh, so we would like to inch forward, checking uh, checking all the doors, basically learning where all these rooms are and how they're attached. Uh, so now we know the overall shape and that the last few doors that we need to check are, are uh, now known to be down here. Uh, still taking dodge action. Gonna go around the corner, Kadir? Not until the entire party is closed. <laughs> Cravy touch the stone. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, Kadir, <laughs> as you look around the corner, you see the remnants of that green mist just ever so slightly dissipating. As you look into the room uh, with the large door now opened, you see quite a few snakes green in color, a little bit of dark spots, very, very large. At this point, we'll go ahead and just take a small break before I reveal the room. We're right back. I got to pee. Same. I'll also be back.
so as we get back into it... Pick up that okay. battle music. Kadir, uh, from your angle, let me reveal uh, the map for you. Of course, roll 20 is going to say no and make me hide more. That sounds about right, yeah. Oh, a big snake with eggs on it. <laughs> it means it's dead, right? Yep. We won. Congratulations, guys. You see uh, three fairly large snakes. One still seems to be moving. The others seem to be... Uh, extract of life. Still. Uh, Are those my dead snake bodies? <laughs> you called it. Uh, we can call off the game. Uh, we figured out that we figured everything out. <laughs> Sign out, everyone. Uh, I I hint over to uh, uh, I hint over to Trace. Uh, would you like the honors? I sure would. I'm going to stealth. Yep. Yeah. How I assume there's uh, how is the light source here at the moment? Just just to check it out. Uh, it is dark. Nice. This is a scene from dark vision. So I would have advantage. Um, I will hold Eldritch Blast for when he fires. I, I'm, I'm going to like, I mean, I'm going to try to sneak over here. Can I still have, can I still see the snake, this, the snake up here? Well, I'm going to let loose. I'm going to fire. I don't know how you want to do this. I'm going to fire with everything. Sure. So get an attack right away. You can go ahead and go ahead and attack. Holy fuck, that's bad. Ugh. What does it mean, uh, rolling nines? That's as, amazing. Uh, you shoot. Can you give me a perception check at advantage? Kadir, can you give me a perception check as well? Uh, advantage or standard? Uh, standard. Okay. 29. Alright, I, uh... 18. Each of you notice as the arrow goes past, uh, the, the wall that once stood here, the arrow vanishes from sight. Oh. It seemed no to be right on, but you are unsure if it hit its target or not. This uh, may be a portal or perhaps an illusion. Uh, who would like to go first? None of us. <laughs> I don't think any of us would. You want to fire again? Fuck it. Same thing happens. Uh, oh. Thank you. 19. Noted. I'm not going to go first. I'm, I'm the range guy. All right. Um, I will take the dodge action and step up. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Uh, record. Dodging as well. All right. Uh, all right, so we can fully see in the room. Do I see broken arrows anywhere in the room? Perhaps arrows that may have hit a wall at a high velocity. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Once uh, you make your way into the room. Twenty-four. Take a step forward. All right. Dodge. Uh, question: Do I actually step through the door? You do. And what you see as you uh, 
uh, step through. The rest of you see a um, a room with a bit of green tile decorated just a bit, statues. But as Kadir steps in, Kadir vanishes from sight. Oh fuck! I think we're obligated to as well now. Yep. Moving in. Moving in. Moving on in. Moving on in. To uh, the speak room. Moving uh, on in. Uh, we oh finally and got. As each make, uh, as each of you make your way in. Uh, Wrecked attempting to hide underneath one of the dead snakes. <laughs> you see a fairly large uh, half of the body humanoid wielding a sword, bits of bandages draped over. Uh, can each of you give me a perception check? <laughs> uh, like this one. Does my 24 count? Yes. Uh, okay. I need one. I need him from the rest of you. You said perception, right, Kyle? Correct. Oh, shit. Wreck it. It's your boy. It's your boy. Damn, the heckling one. <laughs> I know whose token that is, Wreck-ed. but I'm... <laughs> oh, yeah, I like the token, but that's not who it is. Uh, <laughs> Wreck it, Trace, Kadir. Each of you noticed that there's quite a bit of similarities. You're not able to put your thumb on it exactly, but you're able to narrow it down to uh, contacts, if you will, in Lails. You should have left me to finish my work. And pray tell, what would that be? Can each of you roll me initiative? Oh, fuck. I, want to I refuse. Oh, Ooh, they rolled high. Come on. For once. Good initiative. Yes! Ooh, get it, yeah. Ah, dang! Oh, there's my usual four or six initiative. <laughs> I finally got a piece of the pie. All right. Definitely moving okay. to a corner. So, <laughs> with the beginning of the round, starting with Trace, Trace moves to a corner, takes aim. Oh, so nothing is going to happen. I can actually shield, right? I don't know. Will it? You tell me. Okay. Are you going to shoot? I'm the oldest dude. 19. Okay. To be fair, oh, he's, he's not going to not shoot. 25? Hey, he rolled higher than a 16 this time. Yep. <laughs> uh, that'll hit. Uh, who are you aiming at? Are you aiming at Center Boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck everything else. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that way too. 21? Nice. Does it hit and everything? Or... Yes, yes. I was. I, I figured you were just gonna unload, so I was just gonna wait to add it oh. all together. But if you wish, I will. I will diminish it a bit at a time for you. No, no, no. I was like, just because his arrow didn't hit before, so it's just one like we did the same thing. Nineteen. And third attack. Got it. So so far, what is that? Twenty-one, nineteen, forty damage. Another hit. 26 more. 26, so 66 damage. You oh, fool. Yeah. He's immune to piercing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would be awful. And, and, and like, when I do 66, you, you add 3, right? So it's 69, right? I mean, that just makes sense. Nice. I'd be like, GG, motherfuckers. We're going home. Oh, so as you place three arrows in, uh, it strikes into the flesh, piercing through some of the bandages that are wrapped around. As it does, the arrows seem to sink in quite easily, almost like a hot knife through butter. And as it does, no blood extrudes from the creature. You're unsure of how much damage you've done, but it definitely has uh, left an impact, if you will. 
I'm done. Um, which brings us to Kadir. All right. Um, I spend a hex uh, to hex uh, to hex Fatty here in the middle. Okay. He is very thick. And I would like to hex. Uh, what kind of weapon is he wielding? Uh, it appears to be a longsword. Strength then. Uh, I will hex his. Uh, I will hex his strength. Uh, so he has disadvantage on all athletics and strength-related checks. Uh, and, check, yeah. and then I will do my thing. I'm gonna Eldritch Blasty Blast. Uh, 18 and 13. Uh, he'll cast shield, and as he does, uh, you'll see your Eldritch Blast reflect off of uh, this opaque barrier and crashing into the roof above. Okay. Um... That's my turn. You had your chance. As you may kill one or two of us, but you will not survive us all. The snake moves over to you, Trace. You can see me? Yes, I can. It's going to attempt to wrap around you and constrict you. There's an 18 hit. I don't think so. My AC is 19. Oh, well, then that means it hits. You said 18. My AC is 19. Well, you said you don't think so, so I thought I could get one over on you. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kyle, can I see you right now? Um, It is uh, dark. There is no no light. All right, so that'll I, be the end of that one's turn. Uh, go ahead, Ben. Can I use my sentinel attack? It doesn't specifically say I need to be able to see them. Uh, you can you can make the attack, but it will be at disadvantage. Right, right. Fair. A 13, you say? Yeah. That'll hit. All right. And as you feel the spear give a bit of a jerk, you uh, get the sense that it has struck something large. It wiggles a bit. It's quite hard to hold on to your spear, but you're able to do so. As you pull the spear back out, you know there is quite a large creature to your right side. Anything else, bud? No, that was the reaction. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure you didn't like have anything else that you wanted to add on to it. No, thought about it, but no, not right now. will uh -oh. move to here and as it does you'll see it slither over the snake and as it touches you see the bandages fall away some of the uh, holes that Trace had left with the arrow seem to close just a bit I have an idea oh. Oh wait, sorry, it's his turn still. Never mind. As it extends its hand, 
you see the bandages begin to just wither away and as it does bits of smoke begin to emit from it then little bits of flame wrecked krev the individual becomes a bit more clear in sight as bits of flame extend from its bandages and then grasp the flames inside of its palm of its hand and as it raises its head uh, hand above its head it extends it forward can each of you give me a dexterity saving throw please Ooh. all four of you damn Um, is this Kadir? Uh, yes, it is. Kadir, Krev, each of you fail. Both of you fail. The other two pass. I'm going to absorb elements for fire. As each of you become engulfed with this flame, it even engulfs uh, the snake that is uh, near you, Trace and uh, Wreck It, and you can see it beginning to take quite a huge effect to it as it does and when it burns in its uh in in uh in the flame you hear the creature say burnt for life kadir krev i'm gonna double check the roll uh you will take 37 points of damage before any resistances and <laughs> Halved of that is what eighteen. So wreck it and trace. You'll take eighteen. I'm down. Holy fuck! Wait, how are you down from one hit? Thirty-seven. That's exactly what I had. Oh yeah. shit! Didn't you absorb elements? Oh, that was oh. someone else. One of the large snakes begins to move forward. Krev, I'll let you choose. High or low? Uh, high. Good choice. It will attempt to constrict you for a 23. Um, nothing I can do. Yeah, that hits. You will become restrained and grappled while also taking 10 points of bludgeoning damage. As it grasps your tiny body, you are practically helpless as it squeezes the life out of you slowly. It's not ideal. Wreck it. As the flames uh, dissipate, you see Kadir fall. The large uh, snake, while it is illuminated for just a, ooh, excuse me, uh, just a bit, seems to be quite wounded. Do I know if... Uh... Krebs knows Elvish. You would know that I struggled to talk to Trace when he only spoke English. I mean, when he only spoke Elvish. Um, then I'll say, then I'll say this twice: once in Elvish, once in Halfling. I I need to go stop him. If he does another one of those, we're done. Take care of Kadir. All right, yes. You know I'm strong, uh, grappled, right? Okay. If you want, right. I'll put down some, put down some symbols. Some oh oh for that. I'll, yeah. give, like, I'll give Krev a little net. Um, so here's what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to use a chi a key point or a chi point to 
Which one am I looking for here? Sorry. Step of the wind to take the dash action as a bonus action. So I tried I tried to stay out of this one's range. I don't know if he has an extended range or not, but I was probably within his range. Uh yes indeed. So I guess we need to resolve that first. <laughs> so it'll attempt to bite you for a fifteen. Which that I misses. think is a miss. Yep. Alright, here comes a spear attack against big guy. How are you looking, Reckon? I am at 35 hit points. Ooh. Interesting. You sure you want to hit him? Yeah. Okay. I was going to give you the mo a chance to just pick up Kadir and run. But go ahead. Take your strike. 23 to hit. That'll hit. That's good. And I would like to use a stunning strike. Con save, correct? Yes, DC 15. That's a natural 20. Okay, here comes the second spirit. You're telling me he has a negative 6 to his con, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Spear lands in effortlessly. And as you withdraw from your first attack, you pull it back, spin the spear around, and striking in yet again for another good amount of damage. Oh, by the way, I assumed <clears throat> those flames are still present, giving me some vision. Is that accurate? Yeah, just they're uh, dissipating, but it's a, it's a dim light at the moment. Okay. Um, and I will attempt another stunning strike on that one. Got it. Uh, 22. All right. Sorry, folks. <laughs> that was it, because I had to use a bonus action to dash my way over to him. Krev. All right. Um, am do? I in range of Kadir still? Uh, yeah. How does that I'd work? I'd say so. Well, I would. Can I touch him inappropriately? You won't be able to touch him. Okay. Um, I, I, I guess I should have uh, said, uh, it, I guess uh, it depends on what you do. <laughs> well, right, I wasn't sure if I get if grappled it's... in the middle or do I get grappled on his yeah. side here. We'll just or, put you, you in know. the middle. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to healing word, good ear, since I can't reach him. Okay. Uh, you get eight hit points. Here's back um, up. Um, and then I will, for my action, hmm, think. Excuse me. Um, this will be funny, I guess, but I'm going to turn into an equally big snake. Okay. Snake and snake action. Yeah, giant constrictor snake. Well, New shape. one, pawn hub. That will take my action though, since I have action to heal. Is there a size limit on the character that the snakes can grapple? I don't think so, unfortunately. Uh, if it's the same stat, I don't know if it's the same snake as a giant constrictor snake or not. I, normally, to carry a creature, you have to be, I think, two sizes larger than it. But I don't know if there's a if that same restriction exists. That's... Anyhow, apologies. I don't know about carrying, but on the giant constrictor snake, the constrict ability doesn't say anything about creature size. I mean, a, a, a horse slot and he can carry a medium creature, but this one one size. I mean, it should. I'm assuming it reading, can constrict reading. any size, but I don't think it can... Theory. I think you're right about carry. I mean, yeah, but a, a snake can, can grab like things that are ten times bigger than itself, right? I mean, right. not that effective, but it can do it. 
All right, so giant snake. Yes. Each of you uh, find yourself entwined. Uh, you at the disadvantage. Right. Um. All right. Uh. I'm not gonna put a snake token on. So it's already vision. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's all I can do. Like I said, that was my bonus and action, and I'm grappled. Trace. Moving up there. Or strength, whatever. And I'm going to... Well, I assume it used its reaction to to hit Wrecked, right? So, yes, I'm going to shoot that snake. Got it. I assume I'm, that there's darkness up here again, right? I hope. Say again? I assume there's some darkness up here again, right? Oh, yes. Good. There's no light in this room. I'm going to shoot this the snake that hit me before. Well, try to. Got so, it. That snake first shot. I need to get rid of that. No light going for the snake to the south uh, on the right side. Uh, come on. Oh, 22. That'll hit. 23 points of damage. And nice. with that arrow piercing in, you see the snake go still. It is and then dead. I'm going to turn around and fire on the big baddie. Got it. Well, that was close to a crit. <laughs> Ooh, it was. Uh, 29, that'll hit. 26. Yeah. Oh, 26, nice. Yeah. 25 points of damage. Nice. And that's my turn. Kadir. You've got a little bit of HP, eight, eight hit points. What do you do? with us? He's probably on mute. Oh, I was going to say, he's probably on mute. <laughs> uh, I call out to Trace. If you have any charges left on that bow, use them. Wreck it needs it. I have one. No! Wait, wait, wait. Meeting, meeting. Where the fuck is my charges? I, I just shot. I, oh, I shot I have, up I have, Trace. I have, I have all four. Jeez, that was stupid. Yeah. Uh, Where are I forgot. All right. Uh, I. No, I can't. I shouldn't do that. I should. Well, I'll have to wait for a turn. All right. I'm going to I stand up and I'm going to step. I'm going to step out of range of the of the snake. Oh, that's right. He already attacked the knee. No, that was the other one that died. And actually, I'd probably like to step more in this direction. Okay, Kadir, you ready to see if that high AC pays off? Yep. Well, it does. Uh, a 20. Wow. That is lucky. Uh, Close, all right. but no cigar, as they say. Question, when you restrain another creature, aren't you also restrained? No. Or grappled in the sense you have disadvantage on attacks against other creatures? I actually don't think you do, no. You don't? Yeah. Not that you know, I'm aware I thought that was... Okay. I think the closest thing is those abilities often say you can only constrict one thing at a time with that ability. Right, but I thought grappling another creature grapples the grappler too. You know what? Uh, I'm going to try... Um... I mean, I have the spell slots. I might as well just, I might as well just try it. It's life or death situation. Uh, I'm going to try hypnotic pattern uh, over. I'm going to focus it on this corner so that it only hits him. What's the radius? It says that I'm allowed to fill. I think it's a, I think it's a 30 by 30, but I'm hoping that if I focus it in this corner, I can only hit. If that's not possible, I will cast something else.
Or at least I would like to cast it something. It says that it's a 30 foot cube. And w with it not like going through walls and like kind of thing. Um. Or, or not not with it not going through well but like if you just like expand like that the point of origin is like the corner I'm reading it as it would be 15 feet uh so, so do you think that would be it's up to you honestly would it be would that be legal or uh, yeah. should I... I feel okay. I feel like it I, w I was just kind of like I guess thinking slightly out loud as well um the only thing I would do for, like, combustion with, like, walls is, like, fire or something of that kind of nature where it would, like, need to, like, actually expand. But with this, I imagine it would just kind of, like, die as it hits the wall versus creating a larger area. Uh, all right. In that case, I'll take it. Uh, please, a wisdom saving throw. Can you link it for me, though, so I can read it? Yep. It's a charm effect, if that helps. It does. I'm assuming... Going to counterspell. Ooh. As you begin to uh, murmur the enchantments and uh, follow suit uh, with your spell, you see a flash of snake eyes in your mind and it breaks your concentration your fell or your spell fizzles out all right I hashtag I tried that's my turn well, that's all I got well, well he wasted a big resource I mean it's not all in vain Also, his reaction. So there's. Yeah. Oh wait, no, he's about he's to get back. Now, uh, uh, that it, oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Because that would have he could could have wasted a shield potentially. Reckon he's going to attempt to constrict you, uh, for a twelve to hit, being a miss uh, as mm -hmm. you, uh kind of parkour yourself out, bouncing along. You feel the hide to be very thick as you press along. You jump out, and as you do, you see the sword swing towards you. And as it does, it gives a bit of flame at, uh, in its tail uh, from the slash attack as it moves towards you. A 22 to hit. That's a duff. Very minimal damage. You will take eight points of damage as you, uh, the uh, longsword strikes into you. It slashes in, and as it does, you feel the wounds begin to burn. The wound grows just a bit larger in size before cauterizing itself. And one final swing. This one, a natural one. Swinging wildly, going for your head, you duck just in time before it decapitates you. And that is the end of that one, sir. We should have the turn. Yay. Krev, while you are uh, within this one's grasp as a snake, it will attempt to bite you. It'll be a 23 on the attack. It's... And 11 points of damage to you as it sinks its fangs into, well, your mimicked snake body, if you will. You realize that this one's just a tad bit larger. And with finding yourself still restrained you are at its peril. You said 11 damage? Correct. Alright. Alright. 
Wreck that it. sneak battle could last many, many turns. Yes, yes. I am basically <laughs> just taking up an enemy for you guys to finish off the boss at this point. <laughs> All right. I will use a spear attack. Oh, well, let me ask first. Can I see him? <laughs> Yes, you can see that the sword is still emitting a bit of flame after it struck you. Okay, then yes, a spear attack. I gotta imagine that's very spoopy. In a completely dark room you can't see in, attacking a giant snake with a flaming sword. <laughs> uh, as you strike forward with the spear, it will reflect off of an opaque barrier. Alright, here comes the second one. Uh, the beans. same thing happens, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Then I'll use my bonus action for a an un arm strike. There it is. That one penetrates through. As you strike forward with the fist, you see it hit the opaque barrier and then shatter through it. And as you do, you connect solidly. Nice. That does count as a magical attack, by the way, if that's relevant. Um, and I will use my final chi point to attempt a stunning strike. Uh, as as a point of reference, yes, it does. Um, and that's another con save, correct? Yes, DC 15. I'm sorry, bud. That no one worries. is a 15. It was low. I had to. I had to check the sheet, but I'll, I'll let you know. I rolled into single digits. <laughs> um. Hmm. I wonder. No, I'll say where I'm at. All right. Krev, you a sneaky snake? What do you do? Uh. I'm trying to think here. I have to. Can I try to grapple him? Is that how does that work? <laughs> With a constrictive attack, is it just disadvantage? Uh, because the constrict would be like an attack, it would be at disadvantage. Yes. All right. Screw it. Let's go for Which it. Which I guess is a a good attempt because nonetheless, you will both just be intertwined. Right. And I get to reroll the one. Halfling. Uh, well, you're a snake, so no. Oh! oh! <laughs> Too bad it didn't but count. It's not a crit because it's disadvantage, yeah. But it's still a 17 to hit. I mean. Uh, yes. It'll hit. Mind bludgeoning. I double check. Did I roll the right one? That's true. And both of you find yourselves intertwined with one another. Yeah, I just rolled really low damage as well. Nine damage. Uh, yeah. So question. We're both grappled. That means we're both at disadvantage now? How does well, that work? I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. You, you're going to get like small little children soon? I guess that's probably our snakes. Another out, I'm assuming. Because he was probably rolling at advantage. Uh, yeah. I'm just imagining a giant, like, two-ton flesh pile. It just looks like two snakes fucking. You guys aren't I sure mean... if they're fighting or being very intimate at this point. <laughs> they're fight fucking. Uh, Trace, yeah. it's your turn. You are distracted, so at this point, uh, from because of Krev, all of your attacks will be at disadvantage. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you said no, so I guess I gotta go with that. I'm going to use Psychic Arrows this time. That's it. I'm going to use Mind Sliver, the ability of my bow, on both attacks. Please. 24. That hits. Nice. You see it reflect off the opaque barrier, but the arrow pierces through, connecting. Intelligence saving throw. It's a 15. That succeeds, damn it. 
But uh, 26 points of damage, I'm going to fire again. With the special arrow again. Sorry, not special arrow. The ability of the bow. At this point, you hear um, him say, You don't know what you're doing. I'm shooting a snake. It's wonderful. Why you try we... sometimes. We try to talk. And... 25 points of damage. Got it? Thank you. And that's... No, I'm going to move even further up in the corner. Did... Oh... Okay, first of all. Did the fire attack he made... What, how, how much did that cover? Was it like a cone or what, how was it? Oh, it, uh, it was a... A fire uh, ball? Centered here. 30 okay. foot radius. Good. Good. Then I'm going to stay up there. That's my turn. Are you sure? Yes. I'm gonna get your bitch ass. <laughs> Kadir. Oh, uh, forgot one intelligence saving throw, by the way. The second arrow. Oh, uh, well, that's... It automatically makes a disadvantage for the next one, right? That's pretty much all it does? Or am I misremembering that? No, the, the, it gives it minus D4 on saving throws if they fade saving throw. Oh. Like... Got it. Well, I mean, it can't really add on, but let's see. Uh, can you roll the d4 for me? D4 for me? Two. Uh, ten. Dooble but... fail, but... No, 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 that, that's not... If, on the next saving throw, he has minus one d4. If yeah. he fails the saving throw. Well, that was failed so, again. So... <laughs> okay, so, the next saving throw, he has minus d4. Use it for something, get the other end. That uh, was the intention. Well, I think I'm going to try uh, Hypnotic Pattern again. I think that's really all I can do. Yeah, we must assume he used Sealed before Merkit's turn, right? I think he did. You know, question. I have an idea. Uh, I would like to stand behind this uh, stand behind this snake pile so that he can't see me. Preferably right here. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Hypnotic Pattern centered uh, centered around an area on the wall that reaches out towards him uh, so that I can still put him in the cone. Or not the cone, but the, the, the cube. cube. Got it. Uh, that's an int save, right? It's uh, wisdom. And if potentially with a minus D4. Okay. If Go ahead and give me the D4, back. Kadir. Come on, roll full. What the hell? Oh my god, that was so, <laughs> so <laughs> dramatic. Let it rip. Uh, that's a 17 on the save. Fucking Beyblade over here for a D4. <laughs> yeah. 17 total? Yeah. Fuck. That's my save, so he makes it. And that was close. Luckily, you guys uh, forced out his reaction that time. So that, that uh, got out a few extra things. Yeah. All right. Well, that's my turn. That's all I can do. How, how is Rickett looking? Uh, close to half. Record. This one looks to you, and as it extends its sword, it'll move it slowly and say, That one's annoying. And then as it does, it will touch the t its temple and then its abdomen and disappear from sight. Ah, fuck. <laughs>
and as it appears near the dead snakes and then moves its way towards Trace Trace it'll extend its hand towards you and as it does will you roll me a constitution saving throw oh no can it see me oh yeah Hmm, I'm fucked. Oh, well, that's good. That's not a bad roll, but yeah, again, is it good enough? As you feel uh, your skin become quite dry, the moisture being absorbed and then pulled towards the palm of this creature's hand, you will take 15 points of damage. You see a bit more of the bandages fall, and as uh, they do, your arrows pop out. The wounds heal over just a bit. Uh, Krev, this one will attempt to bite you as you all, uh, with, uh, uh, I guess just have a little bit of fun over here in the corner. Uh, question is, is it advantage or disadvantage or neither? <laughs> uh, neither. It's negated. Uh, 21 yeah. to hit, though. Yeah. Another 11 points. Great. Wreck it. So, first question Do I see him? <laughs> Give me a perception check at disadvantage. Okay. This will require your action and your movement. I'm just kidding. Uh, fuck. <laughs> well, assume you hurt me, right? I mean, I'm not going to be quiet, but... You know the general direction, I would hope. Like, Yes, yeah. you know him... Well, Trace is always invisible, to be fair, right? Uh, but yes, uh, you do catch a bit of a glimpse off to your northeastern direction. Can you go through the snakes? Um, it's rough terrain, so... Do a flip! Um, I'll use... I'll use my action to dash. But that is all I'll be doing. Mr. Uh, Krev. Uh, so if I attack, it's a straight roll? Correct. All right, let's go for it. Good. 22. Uh, you're going to do another constrict? Yeah. Okay. Same creature. I mean. I was just making sure. Yeah. Okay. 17 damage if that hits. I'm assuming it hits. <laughs> this is so silly. It is. I, I, I kind of wish I could just get like two entangled snakes and just put them over there. But what I have looked up, um, I wouldn't suggest Googling it without safe search. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Krev? It's just an That's angry... All I Angry twisting flesh pile. I'm done. Trace. Moving down now. Let me let me check one thing real quick. Okay. No, no attack of opportunity? Oh. Nope. Oh. Damn it. Oh well. With all the shot. I'm going to use everything again at him. 
That means the silver sliver again. Come on, crit! 20? Uh, hits an opaque barrier. Good. Why do I roll to terrible today? Last one. What do you say? Shit! Uh, oh. You 31 points of damage. see the arrow sink in, and as it does, you see the creature clutch its head, and with that, you feel that your arrow has done its full effect. Intelligent saving throw. Yes, it failed. So minus D4. Uh, it was a natural one, so, I mean... Unless it's, for it's, some it's, reason, <laughs> uh, so I, I assume that was a fail. I feel like a safe is he, assumption. Is healing potions a bonus action? Uh, so what I have always ruled is it depends on where your potion is. It's like it, I have like a special thing so if I dig to my mouth. No. So it's, like, <laughs> it's in my belt, obviously. Yeah, so like, you know, most people carry them like like on their belts or like in like a like their pocket or something, but like it, some, you know, I catch holding it in like a bag of holding for an example. And with for that, if that were the case, then I would I would say that takes an action. But if it's quick and accessible, it will be a free action. I said, how much is a heating potion? Yep. Oh, it's like nothing. Oh, seven, I guess it's not too bad. Yeah, better than nothing. Yeah. I mean, that's my turn. Kadir. Oh, oh, I didn't do any damage to him. What the fuck? I thought it did. Hmm, I guess not. He has a lot of life. Uh. I'm going to hold uh, hold Eldritch Blast, waiting for the uh, waiting for the shield to fall, and then I will. Well, which will pretty much be at the end of your turn. Yeah. Uh. All right. So yeah, I'll wait for it. Okay. Go ahead and make the attack rolls for me, because okay. it'll again fall right at the end of your turn. Alright. Both hits. Both miss. I'm expecting another shield. Well. Oh. No, that was last one. Alright. Uh, minimum damage and next to minimum damage. So grand total of 17. But I do. Uh, I am going to shoot him into the wall twice. As uh, as both of these blasts push him ten feet back. Okay. I don't know if it does anything, but shake him up a little bit. Fuck you, buddy. It definitely shakes him up a bit. You see him batter against the wall, and Wrecked, you hear chunks of stone battering against the tile below. And as it hits, you can hear tiny bits of cracks as well. Uh... I mean, yeah, I was holding my action, so my turn is officially over. Quiet. Is everything okay? Reading, and then also, uh, I've got I've got a I've got a whole wizard book to go through over here. <laughs> yeah. Um, this this sure. took a lot of work. Um. All right. Here's what I shall do. Wrecked. Mm. You hear a voice in your head. Let me live. And I shall still give to you what I promised before. It's your choice. Or your friends die. Hmm. 
Do I have the opportunity to respond? You do. I, I need more to go on than that. What is the information you have for us? As you see him extend his hand, bits of the bandages beginning to burn away once more, collecting the flame in his palm. You hear, Make your choice now. I throw down my spear. Putting it down? Yep, thought you drop it on the ground. Then you will uh, hear uh, each of you as he calls out, Release! And Krev, the uh, snake begins to untighten its grip from you. What do you do? I. I let it. Do you release your grip? Oh, yeah. And the others. Just what? As uh, you see Wreckit put down his spear, what do you do? See uh, Krev be released, uh, his snake slithering away, the other backing away. I lower my bow for a moment and see what happens. Kadir? I cease, uh, I cease casting. And as each of you lay down a bit of your arms, you see the flame dwindle from his hand. He says, Leave which way you came. Brethren will give you gift. You'll know why you made a good choice. I insight this. Of course. You cannot give us orders. You have murdered friends. You have murdered kin. You cannot be as a friend when you have treated us as enemy. Not by my orders. Then by whose? Leave and you shall know. Tell us and we shall leave. I think Reckitt is going to pick up his spear and start walking. Okay. I telepathically talk to Kadir. If we don't like what we hear, we can always come back. He will he will heal by the time we have come back. If there is a death nail to strike, it is here, it is now. We have the advantage, and he owes us an explanation. Do I... We are not... We are not puppets on a string. Give us literally, uh, literally anything. Respect. Did I sense any deceit in him? Uh, no, you did not. Neither of you. But you are puppets. Yes, we get that you are insinuating we are someone's puppets. You could just as easily tell us. If you wish us to be your friend, respect us more than those who haven't. The proof is not here. My word means nothing till you hold it in your hand. I think it's time to go. I absolutely drill a glare at Wreckage. Are you sure? 
Yes. I feel it at a deep level. Then that is enough for me. Oh yeah, I probably have to drop out of snake form. <laughs> yeah. And then walk through. I said them a staring glare. I'll walk away. <sighs> so for a final decision, do each of you leave the ziggurat? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Fast forward. Blails is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, no matter what, I mean, we, we came in five people, left forward, we like destroyed half an army. So, I mean, no matter what, we did something amazingly good. So, I mean, we, yeah, he's literally just the king in that big snake left, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm not sure that isn't the king. That's what I'm saying. I think he might be the king, but he might not be. I was really hoping for some kind of persuasion check. The problem is that one fireball would have killed us, so we didn't really have a choice. What a down tree of us. I'll move you all back to here. As each of you make your way back to the top of the ziggurat, making your way through the portal and up towards the top, you can hear the waves crashing against the beach off just a little bit to the distance. The sun is about to set off in the western horizon. It's nice. You feel the cool breeze from the sea air. You hear little bits of life that have been escaped from you past roughly 24 hours. As each of you gather your balance in each of your senses, a snake coiled just before each of you begins to uncoil itself, leaving what looks to be a compass. What's that? Can you eat that? Does it look exactly like the compass we saw back in uh, Mito? Go ahead and give me an investigation check if you'd like. Well, I'm... And okay. it will be at advantage. Nat ones. Uh, it looks exactly like no other compass you've ever seen. <laughs> it's the one from Pirates of the Caribbean. Good rolls. Uh, 29, actually. As you look over the compass, this looks nearly identical to the one that Samira had given you back at Mito. As you see it, the compass is pointing in the northwestern uh, direction. You flip it over, and you see the letters GR engraved into the back, and quite notably and easily, it seems that a I and N have been uh, attempted to be removed. Ragdar grin. It appears this uh reed grin, but the I and the N hard to see. Hmm. Northwest. Yes, Both shine off west? Uh, yeah, that kind of direction. And with each of you removing yourself, uh, you'll notice that the blue um, hue that the portal was giving off dissipates. And as you look through it, the room that you had just left disappears. And you look straight through to the other side. 
vast ocean. What does this mean? Yeah, I knew we wouldn't get actual answers. He said all would become clear, didn't he? Are the snakes still here? Uh, the snake has slithered away. Let's go down oh. and kill him. Kidding. I'm. I honestly, I'm not. I, I wish somebody would answer a question straight for once. Uh, which is strange because it was even in his benefit to answer us to answer us straight, and he still didn't. Wait. So we each got one of these compasses? No. No, there's, there's only one. just one. Does it open by oh. chance? Uh, no, it just, when you look at it, there is a direction pointing towards the northwest, and then on the back, right, seems yeah. to be inscribed a name. All right, well, what say, uh, what say you, we take a sail to the northwest? I think so. Are we going straight there? I think so. A large snake did say the proof was not here. I suppose so. Yeah, a bit of an asshole to send us on another quest. <laughs> We've been doing literally nothing but, but uh, at least we'll level up. <laughs> what is this level up? It's just a, uh, it's a new phrase I've been using recently. Uh, you know, the cool kids use it, you know, when you level up your life, you know, you pick it up a notch. <laughs> Well, we, we leveled out, up like three sessions ago without leveling up. That's amazing. What are, what are these sessions you refer to? <laughs> so where, a, where are each of you going at this point? Just walk into uh, the ocean. I mean, <laughs> what, I'm literally swimming to the boat that's like a mile or two away. I mean, I can water walk us if we want. But yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that instead, instead of drowning. That'd be what if, good. What if he got his snakes to bring the ship to us? Have you ever seen ships pilot a ship? Have you ever seen Next snakes ship. pilot a ship? <laughs> just, just for a record, will this cigarette burn? Let's say we light it on fire. The cigarettes are usually stone. Yeah, I know, but still. I'm presuming, I assumed that it was stone. It might not be. I have no clue. It is indeed stone. We just need hot a fire. True. So, each of you head back to the boat. Yeah. Are we able to see it, like, on the horizon from here? You are. Okay. I just want to make sure they didn't sink unarmed. it or something. Are y'all ready? Is intact still? Yep. Y'all ever see snakes on a plane? What yeah. are you ready for? As you get there, <laughs> the scarecrow uh, that Trace had set up uh, seems to be somewhat uh, messed with, but no damages uh, to your uh, little your little uh, your little ship, if you will. Wonderful. I really hope you were right, Racket. As do I, but for what it's worth, uh, I don't think many of us was, were going to survive another uh, blasty blast. I swear to God, if this all comes back, if this all comes back to grin somehow, I will shout from the fucking mountaintops. Called it. <laughs> so just to fast forward a bit, which which way are each of you going after making it to the ship? We're going going exact opposite directions. Dragon goes north, goes north. I go east. <laughs> yes, uh, west. And we're cutting the ship into four pieces, and all of us get one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Raft. Uh, I mean, we we have to. Have, we need. A, we can't live without long rest now, so we need to go to Lales. Yeah, uh, I I disagree. I think we I think we need to avoid Lales. That's the only place we can long rest, right? Oh. Uh, 
I suggest let's just short rest on the boat and go to Goldshire. That's my suggestion. If we go to La- if we go to Lales, there's no guarantee they'll let us out. What was the last reports we've gotten of Goldshire? In terms of occupation, is it still held by our forces or? Uh, Samira was to the north, uh, to the north of northeast of Goldshire, by by my reckoning. Samira's oh. forces were reported near here by the temple. Oh, okay, so to the east, got it. Okay, so we don't have any reason to think we're going into a like a war zone in Goldshire. Yes, I believe that is the case. Okay. I, I, I thought she was I thought uh, she was more towards uh, towards path snow but I do remember Kyle also saying that she had come down to the temple and uh, and gotten her, her a large portion of her forces wiped out all right so going to Goldshire well, I would suggest on the way, whoever's navigating has the compass to make sure that that still aligns with the direction to Goldshire. Because we don't know if what it's pointing to is moving or actually Goldshire. I mean, I think uh, we could just position the boat somewhere on the coast that isn't near Goldshire. I mean, somewhere that's... Uh... I'm I'm just suggesting Goldshire as a direction, not exactly Goldshire though. I I'm thinking we just follow the compass until we hit land. Sure, I'm okay with that. Is everyone else okay with that? Yeah. That's good. All right. Uh take us away, Kyle. Okay, well, first I gotta give you guys experience now that you're in a safe area. Woo! Sailing away. We're even more level 7 now. So it's gonna be a quite a bit of experience. But uh, you guys are basically going to skip quite a bit. So the last update that I had for each of you was 18,639. Yep. Yep. So... A grand total of 10,430 experience. Well, we'll put each of you at what? 29 something? Hold on. 29069. Nice. Oh, got it. Nice. <laughs> but that's definitely halfway to level 8. <laughs> so, uh, all the way, what, level seven? Level seven and halfway to eight, yeah. And close to level eight. So, um, just to, I, I, I really don't want to go another like week having off to uh, wrap up this uh, story arc, if you will. So, with a couple days passed, as each of you land to shore, are you going into Goldshire or not? Uh, where's the compass pointing? To the northwest still. Is uh, where are we though? 
on the coast near Goldshire. Okay. Could we move the boat to where that is exactly? Got it. Thank you. Um, if I it's, think, I think we should be discreet, perhaps disguising ourselves in cloaks. We're not exactly expected here. Let's try moving to the west around Goldshire first to see if it's actually pointing to Goldshire. It is not. It is pointing past Goldshire. Correct. Uh, can we make any navigational check by how far we've moved to make a guesstimate on our map? You know, it cartography style? It doesn't seem to have moved at all. Wherever it is seems to be far away. I'll just give you that information. Well, I think we've committed to this at this point. I, pres I presume we should go find out what the fuck this is about. Agreed. That makes sense, yeah. We can't commit it now, after the choice we made, so... Hmm. Alright. Whales will probably assume we died in our quest. Well, worse comes to worse, we can always say they just teleported us to a random location. That so, does seem like some shit they'd do. That <laughs> does seem like some shit they would do. So into Goldshire with some disguises? Uh, or just moving uh, on? I... With some disguises, sure. Well, what what's the point of going into Goldshire at this point? Uh, I mean, just maybe... So I, just so I know where to put you guys, and then, I mean, from the sounds of it, I have an idea, but this will conclude uh, the business in Lil's, uh story arc. Huh. Oh. All right, well... I mean, nice. essentially, from what it sounds like, you guys are not going back to Lale, so you don't have any more business there. <laughs> that shit's over. <laughs> oh, that was, that, was, that was clever. I got it. Around Goldshire, then. Well, my friends, I guess we're hoofing it through the wilderness once again. Once again. So I will just move you each to here as a few days pass. As each of you contemplate uh, where to go, overall deciding on to follow the compass, uh, avoiding Goldshire, and continuing towards the Maripin Forest. Close to where each of you had begun your journey. We will conclude business in Lales and then move in to our next story. Business in Goldshire? Correct. Record, maybe we'll find your greatest piece of art. Your favorite bugbear. <laughs> so uh. congratulations on completing the story. Um, other than that, we'll see what more lies before each of you following, uh, this clue. So, everyone have a good night. As long as everyone can hold on just a moment, I will, uh, I would just like to ask you each a few questions off stream, and then we'll get out of here. Cool. Good night, everybody. See you next time.